All right, hey everybody, welcome to week five of Introduction to Ethics. Um, this week we're gonna be talking about egoism and uh, altruism. Uh, your textbook there, uh, we're talking about egoism, altruism, and the social contract. Uh, don't worry too much about the social contract. We're actually gonna circle back around to that uh, later in the course, right? So we're gonna be focusing primarily on egoism and altruism. Egoism is a potential way to think about moral values, right? We've been talking about how to identify a potential objective or universal moral value. Um, and we've also talked about the difference between descriptive and evaluative claims, right? So egoism is going to give us a way to potentially uh, find a moral value. And it's also um, going to uh, have descriptive and potentially even evaluative or, or prescriptive claims along with it. So let's start off by looking at the descriptive claims of egoism. Um, or potential descriptive claims of egoism, right? So um, descriptive egoism believes that humans or people are just naturally uh, self-interested. Um, they are naturally selfish. Now, we need to potentially think about uh, the difference between self-interested and selfish. Is there one? We might think that people are naturally self-interested, but maybe not selfish, right? Or maybe vice versa, I don't know. Um, self-interested tends to have a positive connotation, whereas self, uh, selfish tends to have a negative connotation, right? Um, but why? What is the difference? If you identify somebody as selfish or self-interested, what is that difference there? Is that, uh, of egoism is that people are uh, self-interested, naturally. They just are. Um, it's not saying what people should do or what people shouldn't do. It's just saying that they are self-interested, right? We might say, for example, that if people are self-interested, they shouldn't be. In fact, there's a lot of religions that make that claim, right? Yeah, you are naturally self-interested, but you shouldn't be self-interested. Um, so that's a possibility. Um, and the next lecture, we're going to talk about Ayn Rand and her prescriptive claims around egoism. But for this lecture, we're going to focus just mostly on the descriptive claims and altruism. Right? So altruism, then, is the opposite of egoism, right? And you could probably have descriptive and prescriptive altruism, right? Descriptive altruism would say that people just naturally are not self-interested. Um, I don't think most Americans, especially, <laughs> right, believe this claim. I mean, I'm, a, a lot of our system is based off, you know, the idea that people are selfish, selfish, ah, selfish or self-interested. Um, so a descriptive altruism claim would be people are naturally not self-interested. Um, and the prescriptive claim is that you should not be self-interested. Now, this debate has been going on for a long time, right? Altruism versus egoism in the descriptive realm, right? We're going to talk about prescription later. Uh, but in the descriptive realm, are, are humans naturally self-interested? Are they naturally unselfish, right? Uh, which is it? Um, and there's that really famous Friends episode, maybe you guys have all seen it, uh, where they say, no matter what you do, uh, the argument essentially is, no matter what you do, it always actually is self-interested. Even if you give away money or, um, or, or are hurt, physically harmed on, on behalf of somebody else, that's still self-interested because you get pleasure uh, from it you get happiness or gratification from it. So that's why you would do it, right? Um, and that's another aspect of egoism uh, that helps us. Egoism gives us a motivation to act in a certain way, right? Uh, if we believe that people are self-interested naturally, well, then we know why they're doing what they're doing. Now, the last thing I wanna say is the reason that this descriptive claim is a potential source of a universal or objective moral value is because the idea is that humans themselves, all of us are naturally this way. So if all of us have this in common, well, then it's a moral value that can be applied to everybody, right? The fact that humans are selfish, is this descriptive claim a potential descriptive claim that could be universally uh, applied to everybody? But is this descriptive claim that people are naturally selfish? Is it really universal? Does it really apply to everybody? And not only that, can it um, be a way for us to find universal values to apply to everybody, right? Uh, that's what we're gonna be uh, thinking about with this descriptive part of uh, egoism. All right, that's it. I look, I'm looking forward to your comments on uh, egoism. It's a really interesting subject, um, or interesting topic. Um, yeah, uh, I think a lot of people tend to assume descriptive egoism nowadays, um, which is interesting because if you do assume descriptive egoism, maybe ethical relativism is kind of actually off the table. Um, so let me know what you guys think in the comments. Looking forward to them.